what is <laughs> what is up guys it's your girl fuzz and welcome back to another sanji valley video today's video is about the community center in sanji valley the items needed to complete these bundles and the rewards for completing every and all the bundles in the community center let's get into it oh this is a jam To start off to gain access to the community center, enter the town after 8am from day 5 onwards of spring to offer a cutscene and it needs to be a sunny day. Complete the quest given to you to understand the language on the golden scroll to start your adventure. To start off, your first unlocked bundle is the Craftsroom Bundle which is all things forest in Pelican Town. For the spring foragers, walk around and forage for wild horseradish, daffodil, leek and dandelion. You will be rewarded with 30 spring seeds which will grow in 7 days in spring. For the summer foragers, walk around and forage for a grape, spice berry and sweet pea. You will be rewarded with 30 summer seeds, which will grow in 7 days in summer. For the fall foragers, walk around and forage for common mushroom, wild plum, hazelnut and blackberry. You will be rewarded with 30 fall seeds, which will grow in 7 days in fall. For the construction bundle, you will need to donate 199 wood, 99 stone and 10 hardwood. You will be rewarded with a charcoal kiln which will turn 10 wood into a piece of coal in 30 in-game minutes. For the exotic bundle you will need to donate 5 of the 7 items here. A coconut and a cactus fruit found in the desert. A cave carrot, a red mushroom and a purple mushroom found in the mines. A maple syrup, an oak resin and a pine tar from using a tapper on the 3 different farm trees available. And or a morale found in the secret woods or the farm cave. You'll be rewarded with 5 Autumn's Bounty Meals. And for the Winter Bundle, you'll need to walk around and find a Winter Fruit, Crystal Fruit, Snow Yam and Crocus. You'll be rewarded with 30 Winter Seeds, which will grow in 7 days in winter. You'll unlock the bridge on the east side of Pelican Town, which will unlock a little area to mine rocks and to forage some trees, and a little cave that'll offer a gold item at the end. Your next bundle will be the Pantry Bundle, which will unlock when your first bundle in the classroom is completed. For the spring crops bundle, you'll need a parsnip, a green bean, a cauliflower and a potato. You'll be rewarded with 20 speed grows. For the summer crops bundle, you'll need to grow a tomato, a hot pepper, a blueberry and a melon. You'll be rewarded with a quality sprinkler. For the fall crops bundle, you'll need to grow a corn, an eggplant, a pumpkin and a yam. You'll be rewarded with a bee house. For the quality crop bundle, you'll need 3 of the 4 items here but in gold quality. So that's 5 gold quality of parsnip, melon, pumpkin and or corn. You'll be rewarded with a preserve jar. For the artisan bundle, you'll need 6 of the 12 items asked here. You can either craft a truffle oil, a cloth, a goat cheese, a cheese, a honey and or a jelly. Or you can donate fruit from fruit trees or from the fruit bat cave which is the direction I took. So that includes an apple, an apricot, an orange, a peach, a pomegranate and or a cherry. You'll be rewarded with a cake to craft juices and wines out of vegetables and fruits. And for the animal bundle, you'll need 5 of the 6 items here. A large milk from a mature cow. A large brown egg from a brown chicken. A large white egg from a white chicken. A large goat milk from a mature goat. A piece of wool and or a duck egg from a duck. This will reward you with one cheese press. You'll unlock the greenhouse on your farm which will allow you to grow any plants in any seasons and fruit trees where the samplings can be bought from Pierre's store in any season. Hey, hey you, are you liking the video? Why not leave a like? It helps support the channel. And if there's anything you want to ask or if there's another Stardew Valley video you'd like to see, why not comment it down below? I reply to every comment. The fish tank will unlock at the same time that the pantry bundle is unlocked. The fish tank is filled by fishes from different places and different seasons. If you'd like to know where to find them, check out my fishing video that mentions the days, the times and the seasons. For the river fish bundle, you'll need a sunfish, a catfish, a shad and a tiger trout. You'll be rewarded with 30 baits. For the lake fish bundle, you'll need a largemouth bass, a carp, a bullhead and a sturgeon. You'll be rewarded with a dress spinner for your fishing rod. For the ocean fish bundle, you'll need a sardine, a tuna, a red snapper and a tilapia. You'll be rewarded with 5 warp totems to the beach. For the night fishing bundle, you'll need a walleye, a bream and an eel. You'll be rewarded with a small glow ring to wear. 
For the crab pot bundle, you'll need five fishes which can either be foraged around Pelican Town or from crab pots when placed in the ocean or fresh water. The fishes I was able to forage is the crab, the cockle, the mussel, the oyster and the clam. You'll be rewarded with three crab pots. For the specialty fish bundle, you'll need a puffer fish, a ghost fish, a sand fish and a wood skip. You'll be rewarded with five dish of the sea. You'll unlock the removal of the glittering boulder next to the mine's entrance. Walking into the mountains will offer a cutscene and you'll receive a pan from Willy to pick up items from shimmering lights from the waters. The boiler room will unlock when any second bundle is complete. For the blacksmith's bundle, you'll need a copper bar, an iron bar and a gold bar. You'll be rewarded with a furnace to make more bars. For the adventurer's bundle, you'll need two of the four items here. Either 99 slime, 10 bat wing, a solar essence, and or a void essence. You'll be rewarded with a small magnet ring that increases your magnetic radius by one tile. For the geologist bundle, you'll need a quartz, an earth crystal, a frozen tear, and a fire quartz. You'll be rewarded with six omni geos to break at Clint's blacksmith shop. If you need help finding any of these items for the boiler room, why not check out my mining Stardew Valley video? I'll put it in the annotations above. You'll unlock the mine carts located behind the bus near your farm, the carts at the mine's entrance, the mine cart in town, and the mine cart in the quarry. The vault will unlock when any four bundles have been completed. For the vault, you need 42,500 gold. At the 2,500 gold purchase, you'll be rewarded with three chocolate cakes. At the 5,000 gold purchase, you'll be rewarded with 30 quality fertilizers. At the 10,000 gold purchase, you'll be rewarded with a lightning rod to place on your farm. And at the 25,000 gold purchase, you'll be rewarded with a crystallarium to place on your farm. You'll unlock the bus service. Pam will run the bus service at 10 a.m. and for 500 gold, you can buy a ticket and it will take you to the desert. You've made it this far, so why not consider subscribing? I do Stardew Valley videos every week and the bulletin board, which will unlock when any three bundles have been completed. For the chef's bundle, you'll need a maple syrup by placing a tapper on a maple tree, a fiddlehead fern from the secret woods in summer, a truffle from pigs, a poppy as a summer crop, and a mackie roll and fried egg to cook. So be sure to buy the first house upgrade to cook these. You'll be rewarded with three pink cakes. For the field research bundle, you'll need a purple mushroom in the mines, a nautilus shell from foraging the beach in winter, a chub found in the mountain lake or rivers, and a frozen geode in the ice stages of the mines. You'll be rewarded with a recycling machine. For the fodder bundle, you'll need 10 wheat as a summer or fall crop, 10 hay from wheat seeds, or you can buy them from Marnie's Ranch for 50 gold each, and three apples, which can be found in either the fruit bat cave on your farm or planting apples to grow in fall. You'll be rewarded with a heater to place in your barn or coop. For the enchanters bundle, you'll need an oak resin from placing a tapper on oak trees, a wine produced from a keg, a rabbit's foot from a rabbit, and a pomegranate, which can be found in either the fruit bat cave on your farm or for pomegranate trees during the fall you'll be rewarded with five gold bars. And finally, for the dye bundle, you'll need a red mushroom from the mines, a sea urchin, which can be found after fixing the bridge on the beach with 300 wood, a sunflower as a summer or fall crop, a dark feather from ducks, an aquamarine found in the mines, and a red cabbage by either waiting for summer in your second year to grow them, or by buying it from the traveling merchant if she has them available in the first year. You'll be rewarded with a seed maker. Completing this bundle will increase your hearts with every non-datable villager by two hearts. After completing every bundle in the community center, the Jaminos are free at last. They thank you for freeing them and leave you and Pelican Town with the Restore Community Center. The next morning, Mayor Lewis will send you a letter to thank you for restoring the community center. Walking into town will offer a cutscene of the Pelican Town residents enjoying the new building. You will encounter a cutscene of Pierre and Morris chatting it up, but after Pierre wins the battle, the Jojo Mart will disappear and so will Morris. Be sure to check out this area of where the Jojo Mart was. There's one more bundle to complete and it is found in the old Jojo Mart building, so I'll keep that a secret. Also, walking into the railroad will offer a cutscene and offers two quests to complete. Completing these quests will offer an item that can be bought from the wizard to bring back the Jaminos, so I'll keep that a secret as well. And thank you so much for watching today's video on the community center for Stardew Valley and completing it. Anything related to farming, fishing or mining has been put into detail in other videos on my channel, so definitely check out those annotations or check out those videos on my channel.
If you want to catch me live and hang out, you can follow me on twitch.tv forward slash fuzzerino because I live stream weekly. I love your faces. And until next time, guys, take care.